<laughs> I don't even know what that was, so I apologize for the creepy eyes. But, yeah! Portis Torch Heart number 5. So, 5. Pretty cool stuff this week. I'll, I'll have to admit, this week was a pretty good week for me as far as just how the, uh, like the, well, as far as toy hunting and just, you know, having a good time and stuff like that. Now, I, um, first off, uh, the shirt I'm wearing, I, I got, uh, yesterday, which was the 4th, and, uh, Avengers came out yesterday. So, I like this shirt. It's kind of, it's kind of Captain America shieldish with these, these, uh, these right here. And it has the egg. I like that. That's cool. What's Avengers? Avengers. The movie was flipping awesome. Oh my god. I, I might review it or make a video about how, uh, just my thoughts in the initial movie. But I, the things that I thought I was going to hate, uh, which was only really just, um, the aliens and, um, uh, and Hawkeye, um, no, actually Hawkeye was pretty good even though he didn't have purple and blue spandex, which I, I do sit to think now, I probably wouldn't translate well in real life, and uh, the aliens weren't as bad, that they, I think they actually are, they're, they're the Shatari, they're actually referenced as that in the, in the movie, so, um, I thought they were just gonna call them something random and they'd be like a blend of scrolls and Cree and all a bunch of other stuff. But nope. They're uh they don't suck, so yay. Um I'll make a video about that. But that was super awesome and ooh ooh you gotta wait till the credits. You have to wait till like the end of the credits, there's this scene. Ooh. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to give it away until, like, I talk to, about it, because when I talk about it, then I'll be spoilers, because, you know, it came out yesterday. Um, but, yeah. And there was a, the theater was packed, too, so. And everyone, and, and the thing is, like, there was this guy that had a head cold in front of me, so he was like. <laughs> he was, yeah, he was doing that, he was, like, every few minutes, and, eh, uh, two and a half hours of. That kind of annoyed me, but I was focused on the movie, so I didn't really care. The movie was so awesome, I didn't care about other people. Yeah, it's that awesome. Um, yeah. Everybody laughed when everything was funny, lots of funny parts. Just, just, just go see it. If you like Marvel, go see it. I don't know why you're not seeing it if you like Marvel. Just go, go see it. Um, if you don't, then why would you see a Marvel movie if you don't like it? That, that doesn't make any sense. But anyway... Before I get sidetracked again, let's uh, get into a recap of what happened. See, I've been working a lot this week, so I haven't really done anything. Uh, let's see. This is the 5th, uh, Saturday, May 5th. Um, uh, this whole week I've been working. I mean, Monday I worked 10 hours, Tuesday was 6, I had Wednesday off, Thursday I was supposed to have off, but they called me in and I worked to. Uh, I worked like uh, I think 11 to like 4:30, and then yesterday I worked till uh, 12 to 5:30, and I'm off on Saturday and Sundays, and I go back Monday, and, you know. But uh, got paid this week, and see the weird thing was I can't remember because I had I just got out of having my other job, my sign spinning, because of that I do that during you know nice when the weather's nice. Um, from, okay, I do it from January to April because it's tax season, it's a seasonal job, so, you know, they don't need people all year round, so I, uh, yeah, I was doing that and I got out of that, okay, Wendy's, <clears throat> Wendy's is my other job, and I pay, they pay me every two weeks, I got paid this week, so yesterday, um, now, the, my other job paid me the other week, so I got paid every week. Now, that, well, that confused me. 
<laughs> and I, oh man, uh, like, I get paid, like, midnight direct deposit. You know, of course, and it's easy, it's instant. Well, like, it's usually comes midnight, but sometimes it will take a while, and that annoys me because I'm like, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want my money so I can buy some stuff. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. So, pretty stressed out about that. I didn't see it at uh, 1 o'clock, still didn't see it, so. Went to bed, woke up in the morning, 7.30, boom, it was there. So, yeah. Just go to show, show you if you're waiting for something like that, or, like, it, it's like when, when you want time to go by faster, it goes slower. And then when you want it to go slower, it goes faster. I don't know why, it always seems like that happens. At least I noticed that, I don't, I'm sure other people do. But, my glasses are dirty. I need to clean them again. I need new glasses too. Probably should. I'm missing one of the things. Do any of you that wear glasses, do you, uh. You know what I can get? Can I get an eyeglass repair kit or something? To fix these little no nose things? Because you see, I only have one. The other one broke off, oh, jeez, like two or three years ago. And I never fixed it because my glasses are. My gl these pair of glasses were like 300 bucks. Yeah, my glasses aren't cheap. But that's because they transition. They, well, you, you'll probably see it in my, my toy hauling video I did a long time ago, but my glasses will actually turn dark when they hit sunlight. Um, they have a pigment in them. Because my eyes are really sensitive to light. Like, all people's are, but it's just, I don't, I always squint, and I, my face starts to hurt after I squint. Uh, when I'm outside, but uh, yeah, I don't know. What I was talking about that. Ah, eh, just a little bit, you know, regular normal people stuff, and I don't know. What to do. Anyway, um, yeah, and also, I went into Target on Thursday, which is a bad idea. Don't go in there if you don't have any money. That's always what I, I... I don't go into any store like that if I don't have any money. Because if I see something I want, which I did, then, uh... Yeah, I'll be like, damn, 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 damn. Or, you know, I'll, I'll try to figure out some scheme of getting it. Now, they do... Or at least that target. They do actually have a hold on items for 24 hours. And I got there around 5 o'clock p.m. And, um, they had, uh... A, I was looking all through, the only thing I saw was a Transformers Prime uh, Voyager Starscream. I was like, cool, Starscream! And, uh, like, uh, yeah, so I had them hold it, and I went back in the morning, and I, uh, I got it. So, awesome. Now, okay. I'm not gonna make a separate video about this, but I'm just gonna talk about it in this video. First edition, you know, the Prime First Edition stuff that was cancelled and, you know, that was the limited release and all that. Those are kind of, uh... Okay, there's only a few that I like. There's only, okay, I only really like Bumblebee and Bulkhead. Those are the only two I would ever consider purchasing or owning. Um, I don't know why, but, like, okay... Voyager Star Screen compared to first edition, I like this one a whole lot more. I mean, yes, it's a it's a bigger toy, but it 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 has it's one, it's sleek. Look at that. I mean that's see, I'm very forgiving when it comes to Transformers. Like like this this is like perfect to me. I love this so much. I don't even care about the little extra you know, leg pieces on the side. I don't mind that. It's you know, but, and he's got the single missiles, and, and he's just overall cool. Plus his head crest isn't all bent up. You can see his head under there, so. See, mine actually was not bent out of the package, and, the, and his knee pa uh, knee things are really soft. But I don't, I want to really touch him too much, unless, like, when I transform him, I want to be careful, because I have a feeling those are going to break. And the same thing with the nose cone. It's very soft, and, like, I've actually pulled it sometimes, and it's, like, stretchy almost. Like, it'll just... Like, like a piece of candy. I don't like that that much. Hello. Okay. This isn't as bad as the first movie Voyager Story Scream. You remember that? The brick with wings? I used to have that. And I, I don't. I got rid of it. I still like it. I mean, it's 
it's it's cool for having humongous giant Gatling guns for arms, but I'd probably just get the Skywarp repaint and call it a day. Or I just do they have Thundercracker? I think they do. I got a Seeker team with the G1 Star Screen. Eh, I'd probably get them for cheap. No, um, but I'd rather have the Revenge of the Fallen one. That one's more superior. So, yeah. I don't want to talk about different story screens, but this figure definitely worth buying. And like uh, later in the video, I'll probably show them all in re robot mode and show them all. I already kind of spoiled it. Um, yeah. So I got that, and then I went to work. That was Friday, I think. Was it? No. What did I do? I don't even remember. Uh -huh. Oh no, now I remember. It's funny too, because of what happened. I don't have. Uh, I think. Yeah, I threw away the receipts. I, I, there's nothing wrong with anything that I bought, so I threw away the receipts, so I don't have an excuse of taking it back later. It's just, you know. And, and it actually works out, because, you know, I'm glad I, I started doing that, because now I don't. If I, if I end up like. I. I just take it back to get more stuff. Um, but, uh. No, so yeah, I buy that, and then, cause like, I get. Okay, I don't have to work till noon. For some reason, I'm at. I'm over there at like 9.30. Don't ask me why I'm at work at 9.30. Oh, oh, okay, I wanted to go to the Target, and I went there, and I was like, oh, I got some time before I had to go to work, so I'll start walking over here. I didn't even walk anywhere. I like I got some Mountain Dew and I was drinking that and I was I was like yeah I'll turn around and go back into Target. And I'm glad I did because I completely forgot about how I would. Oh wait no that's not how that's after. I'm having a hard time remembering because of the movie. I, I I remember a lot from the movie because that just happened and kind of made me forget about the earlier. Um, no, yeah, I, I I bought him and this shirt, and then I left, and I was outside of the Target, in front of the Target, sitting on the bench, putting every, putting the stuff in my backpack, and um, and I was like, oh wait, I kind of wanted to get you know some Mountain Dew or or and like uh, some gum or something. I go on there, I go back over the toy aisle for some reason. I just I don't know. I was just, I was just like, yeah, I'll look here again. Maybe maybe I missed something, you know real quick. I don't have to go to work for like two uh, two and a half hours so I might as well spend some time in here and kind of waste some time. And I did the... okay I had this idea and then I had... it worked out so well. I I asked to speak to the manager of the toys to see if they had any more toys in the back. That was the best idea I ever had. Okay, uh, no more Voyagers so I didn't get Bulkhead which I just need Bulkhead and the commanders uh, and the legion figures, um, which is really just breakdown. But uh, yeah, so they didn't have bulk it, so I was like, oh, um, oh, but I did ask them for deluxes too. And 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 see, the thing is, the lady told me that like, cause they, their shelf had about six bumblebees, two cliff jumpers. I think there was a real jack. There's a RC. There's a ratchet. Uh. Yeah, that's it. And like, she was like, "Well, they're probably." Uh, I I wanted to be the new case with, uh, the Vehicon and the Knockout and the Hotshot and you know the new case, the Wave Three. And uh, what happened was is that uh, she was like, "Oh, this is probably gonna be the old case, you know, the case of one and probably some of two. And um, yeah, so like, she got the box. It was about maybe like. Like, I want to say like like this and this. Or, yeah, about like that. And it was a box of eight. I opened the box, right? Okay, it was about I think it was like I think it was like three bumblebees, a wheel jack. No, wait, I don't even remember. It was it was a box of eight. And there the. It it was the new case. 
I wasn't really expecting it to be. I was hoping it was, but I wasn't really gonna say, oh, I really hope it, it's the it's the new case. I'm really excited, you know, because, you know, if it wasn't, I would have been bummed out. And it was. That whole case only had one knockout and one Viacon. And, yeah. I was like, holy crap! You know, I mean, I'm glad I went back in there because I didn't do that when I got Starscream. I should have. I, I, I don't even know what have saved me some time walking a little bit of ways away from it. Not that far away from it, but now maybe half a block away from it and turning around. Because uh, I was going to go to a GameStop, but then I decided against it because I was going to go see Avengers and I wanted some money for uh, uh, drinks and uh, to, to get a soda and buy some candy. So, uh, yeah, so I, I got, I got Knockout and Viacon, so, Knockout and Viacon, and, like, okay, here's the thing, Knockout and Viacon are so awesome, I mean, okay, everyone was saying, like, here's Knockout, everyone was saying how bad this guy was, and, you know, Okay, here was mistransform. I think he might have been the worst case of being mistransformed in a picture. Uh, it was on TFW. Everyone did not like him and everything. And I, as you're playing with this, this figure is maybe one of the best because one, his transformation is crazy. I mean, it's just the way it's engineered. And yes, he's missing paint apps. I mean, probably get used to that, but now, but I, I really like the the light. Cargo, the grill, the way the headlights look, the whole cargo, and yeah, see that that's the thing though, the the silver. Now I'm gonna be painting this, but yeah, you can't see because of the spear on the back in the way, but all that's supposed to be silver, and his wheels are painted gold. Um, the figure is obviously is not final result of the figure is not, but. You know what? I don't mind that. Now the thing though that I've noticed, and no one's pointed that this out yet, the wheels are connected in a weird way, and I, I don't know how I can show it him in car mode, but um, and, and it's same with Viacon. They're they're not like in a pin or anything in a screw, kind of like you know how like RCs or just you know usual stuff like or like uh, Prime's wheels are. Uh, with like the metal pin, these have these are all plastic. There's a there's a there's a hole, right? And then like putting my hands the wheel on the hole, it's like that. And then there's the these pegs that go in and wrap around the back to keep it on. It's kind of like a mushroom, and they still roll. It, it's not like it it doesn't work, but maybe that was a cost effective issue, but. That just makes it easier for me to paint these wheels gold because you can I can paint them over and boom I don't have to worry about the paint going into the to the hole in the middle where the metal pin connects it onto the figure um, and, and like making them roll real weird that's actually a better idea I think so yeah just uh, just know that uh, his wheels are pretty good to paint. <laughs> But yeah, he is small though. I'm like holding him. He's he fits in my hand. He's not that. <laughs> he's about the size of my phone. Here's my phone, and yeah, and and he and here's knockout. He's about the size of my phone. So he's pretty small, but you know, compared to like Bumblebee, he's he's. He's a sporty car, he's not going to be as big. I mean, he's relatively not that small. Now, you can see I messed up the stripes on this. I had to paint them on because I took them off accidentally when I was painting them. So that's my fault. And I dropped this spear and it fell on the floor. There it is. Uh, what is that thing? Oh, hey, I'm looking that thing. That's a piece for a light. But yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And, uh, Viacon. I think I'm like, I don't know. It's Viacon is. Okay, I want three of these. I, I'm not even gonna lie. He's one to a case, though. 
It was one turkey case for him and him, and they did have hot shot. I don't know if I'll get him. Maybe if I find him for like discount or cheap. But he's just a repaint of Bumblebee, and we haven't seen him in the show. Now, if he's if we do see him in the show, though, I will buy him. And plus, because he does look cool. I did see him. It was about two of him. One of each of these, I think there were. I think there was like two Bumblebees, a Wheeljack, and like a Ratchet or an RC, something like that. Um, but this figure is so awesome, and he has a Decepticon symbol. Uh, right there, and it's a little, it's darker blue. But then he's got the symbol in his chest under the glass, which is really cool. But he's a deluxe figure. He has. Decepticon symbols. He has faction symbols. He does not. 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 Neither does he. Or him. Or her. What is that? <laughs> like I'm not mad about it, but like if you're gonna give a Viacon the the faction symbol, why can't the rest of them have it? I mean, that's just because I mean I like faction symbols. I always have. I've always liked trying to find out where they are on each transformer, and just you know, it shows their allegiance. And it's, it's come on, it's you know. And he almost looks like a. They almost well not well knockout more because his plastic's very bright, so he kind of looks like a knockoff, which he's not. Obviously, he's not. But he could use a little bit more detail, which I'll probably paint some more gold on him and stuff. But cool. I mean, I'm off today and tomorrow, so I might do that later. Um, I don't know about the red head crest though on Starstream because it's all super soft. So, um, I don't. No, I don't want to put paint on it because then the paint could flake off because when you bend it. So, but yeah, Beacon super awesome, and his gun's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, the the thing I want to talk about with Beacon, and you can see it more in the side reverse, and they're up here. Sorry, Let's, let me get it off. I have three of the Legion ones, and I want three of the Deluxe ones. I think three is a good Beacon number for me. Now when they, if they do the jet ones, uh, I want two, and if they make a new one, I, I, I would like to have them have like a commander transform into a SUV, and then I can call them suv -icon. Ha, no. Um, I think that would be cool, it'd be kind of like crankcase, you know? But, uh, but he can be the commander, then, uh, I guess that would work out. I'd only get one of him, but... No, um, I hope they do an Insecticon, and I already, I already seen the pictures for Dreadwing, so, yeah, here's the Um, yeah, see, he shrunk, see, he has that shrinking power, this is the deluxe one, and, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's the design of the, the actual model, and he's, how you mistransform a Legends f figure, that's a utter fail. Um, you see how his front wheel is, like, kind of far back like this? Uh, like close to the wheel where if it was like here, yeah I'll use this if it was like right like right here just a little bit it, I, I wouldn't mind it it's just it looks it looks kinda weird and off now this one no it's it's right where it would normally be in like a vehicle it because if this was the, you understand what I'm trying to say? The front wheel is closer to the, to like the door and to the back of the vehicle, more than the uh, deluxe. And that's the only thing that's putting me off about the way this looks is that because this is, uh, it kind of looks a little weird, like almost super deformed, you know. And this does not have that. And he does have the same wheel thing I was talking about, but his rim rims are already painted, so I don't have to worry about that. And, you know, there's nothing really... And his transformation is, like, super simple, but it's ingenious. Like, his whole car is his feet. It's like... I don't know, but, uh... 
Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Those figures are super awesome. More Decepticons for me. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's not really that much left. Um, I'll probably s skip the whole... I might review them. I don't know. Um, probably not. I don't see that many of him. I just want to show us thoughts. But maybe if I start doing Transformers reviews and reviews of things that are very popular and there's a lot of them, they'll be short and they'll just be basically what I have to say on the figure and that's pretty much it. I want to get a rotating turntable though. I definitely want one of those. Um, that's, yeah, that's not really... Oh, the last one I made, that's really all I've gotten. This is Transformers and... It's really it, really. Uh, no new Marvel Universe, really. I did see Psylocke, but I, I don't know. Uh, kind of waiting for some more Star Wars stuff. Uh, I'm really swinging for Transformers. Um, DC stuff is kind of at a hiatus because of, you know, the, the online subscription. They're not really at retail, and I already got Sinestro back. That's not all messed up. Uh, Legos are kind of at a hiatus, too. Um, I'll probably get some more Mario ones, though, now that I saw the Avengers, but, uh, Definitely getting that X-Men one, though, with Deadpool and Wolverine and the helicopter and Mickey, you know. But, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in the, the last one when I got, uh, the, um, the Series 5 Halo Reach Red Recon Spartan, the, the Captain America Avenging Cycle Lego set, uh, and, um, what else did I get? Oh, that's when I got Sinestro, too. So, yeah, and I, I gave the Spartan a shotgun. Yeah, I like how silver his, uh, his visor is. It's pretty cool. It looks almost chrome in the video, actually. I look at it. It is very reflective, but it's not chrome. It's still pretty cool. Yeah, but, uh, thanks guys for watching, and, uh... I'll see you soon. Uh, let me know which figure you want me to review first, because, you know, Knockout and Starscream and Vehicon. Now, I haven't really reviewed them all, so, if you want, I could, I'll, I'll probably do the newer ones first and then do the older ones, you know, later. Um, I do, do want to finish some customizing, though. Um, but, yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace. And expect the, the Avengers review, or final thoughts, you know, here in a couple days, if not this weekend, if not a few days, if not a few hours, I don't know when I'm going to do it, um, whenever I feel like doing it. But, yeah, just uh, know that that's coming eventually sometime in the near future. So, I'll see you guys later, and peace. I didn't push the button, didn't I? No, I didn't. Peace! Now